Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Celebrating Act 2's, what do we call this, Art? Our, our founder's vlog? Our, oh, we're our, we, 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 we just are kind to ourselves. It's this magnificent conversation that we have with one another and our audience. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's a vlog. Well, it's where we share our most important thoughts. Right. Not intimate thoughts. <laughs> and not, not intimate. Important. Right. So, so what, I, what have you got for us today? Well, I don't have anything for us. I have it for our wonderful audience who, um, uh, I know a lot, I was thinking about pets because I know that you have, you've always had a lot of animals in your, your life. We uh, do. You know, here's an interesting thing. I grew up without any animals. I think we lived in an apartment growing up. So the mm. only animal that I can remember is is uh, my brother brought home a hamster one time mm. and it got lost. Now, how can you lose a hamster in a little apartment? I don't know. But we found it like six weeks later. It had buried into a box of papers in the back of my father's closet. So ah. that was the end of the hamster episode. Right. You know, and, we and, had growing up, growing up, we had... Uh, 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 hamsters or gerbils or whatever those right. things that, that went on a wheel and we had uh, turtles yeah. and there's yeah. a turtle story that I will say for a, a totally different uh, episode okay. of, uh, uh, along with stamp collections and someday I'll tell you about the turtles and the stamp collections and you'll tell me if we should do an episode and and I, the, the first dog I, we ever had was a, 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 a white hair terrier uh, it was like a bluish in color uh, uh, Blue metallic in color, really yeah. wonderful dog, uh, named Tuffy. And, how old were you? Uh, uh, well, I, how old was I? I was probably about, um, I'd say, six, seven, eight in that time frame. And so back, you, you back have the... you have a history of pets. Yeah, and, and uh, even um, it may have been twenty years ago we had our last pet, if you will, which is um, uh, a. Uh, an English bulldog named Rudy after the uh, goalie for uh, the uh, oh, okay. uh, Long Island, uh, the, the uh, Islanders on the National Hockey League. Uh, yeah. Rudy was a goaltender, so we named her Rudy. Uh, yeah. But after that, uh, she passed away. She had some intestinal problems. And they were always a lot of work. And quite frankly, they were nice uh, when the kids were around or things like that. And my cousin, uh, uh, Don, who you knew, who recently yep. passed? Uh, yeah. He's always had uh, animals in his life, and we grew up in the same house for many years without animals, and uh, for, mo for the most part. And he had this wonderful, uh, part German Shepherd, part Husky yeah. dog called Miley, which he acquired in Hawaii. So I've had animals around, but not not like an animal kind of, because you you really have a lot of animals uh, in your life today. Um, yeah, but it really comes from my wife who we got our first dog. Um, we were living in Chicago and uh, I don't know why, but we just uh, went looking for a beautiful golden retriever and hmm. she was just the best dog you could ever imagine. Big dog. Had her for her whole life, 15 years and hmm. wonderful. But since that time, we've always had a dog and sometimes we've had as many as four dogs. At and, and horses? Well, now we live on a, a big piece of property. So, yeah, we've got horses and goats and chickens and uh, um, falcons above and hawks that are waiting to grab a chicken, things like that. <laughs> I, I, I know that you raise gophers. Oh, yeah, we, we're probably the, the big uh, attraction for gophers in the whole county. But, you know, you bring up something interesting, and that is that um, sometimes having a, a pet is uh, is really almost part of you. Mm -hmm. So you go from dog to dog to dog to dog. And sometimes it's not. Sometimes it, you you have a pet that's just, you know, very close to you. They're gone. They're gone. Uh, uh, for instance, you, after Ruby, you, ha you really didn't get another dog. No, that was it. Yeah. Because the kids were out of the house, and it was just another... Uh, living thing to take care of. Yep. And uh, uh, walking, I, I go to the gym. <laughs> I need to walk the dog. Uh, 
Uh, my wife's not a big uh, dog walker. And yeah. uh, picking up after them, you know, with the little plastic bags and stuff like that. Sure. I never found that very desirable. Uh, so I just never had any uh, particular reason to to have a pet. Yep. Uh, uh, and I've had cats and I've had a rabbit. We actually yeah. had a couple of rabbits here and there. One that actually stayed with us for a long time. But they were always a, a pain, pain in the neck to deal with at one point or another. And even like uh, my uh, my son uh, and his family have a wonderful uh, dog named Sundance, uh, who I think they've had for about 11 or 12 years. So he's really getting up in age. Yeah. And, you know, when they go away, we or... Uh, uh, her, uh, uh, Monica's mother uh, comes in and walks the dog and picks up after it and so on and so forth. Yeah. So I guess that's enough for me. And we live far enough apart that you're not going to ask me to go ride your horses or your right. goats. You have how many goats? Uh, five goats. Five yeah. goats. They're uh, they're tough. They're, goats are tough because they they can be real problematic. But they're they're very wonderful animals. We got them to go with the to befriend the horses. Oh. Um, then we got another horse and solved the problem. And then, anyway, <laughs> you bring up a, a, a good uh, subject because um, a lot of people our age, uh, kind of, you, you mentioned having uh, animals for the kids and that's, we had rabbits and stuff when the kids were younger. Um, and my recommendation is never buy an animal uh, for uh, as a pet f for the kids, quote, for the kids. Mm. It doesn't matter how old the kids are. Uh, it never turns out well. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to tell you what happened to our rabbits. Um, mm. But the kids don't really take care of the animals like they should. It's a rare child, I think, that um, attaches itself to a a dog or a cat or whatever. Mm. So I... Besides not having, not buying animals a pet for the kids, I also recommend not buying a pet for yourself if you're over 60, unless you're prepared to really deal with it, to really take care of it. So many people, I think there's, there's somewhere on the internet said, oh, if you're, if you're elderly, you probably want to get a dog or a cat as a companion animal. Well, I think that's a bad idea. Mm. If you're really willing to, to and have the room and have the wherewithal, the facilities to take care of an animal, even just a small dog or a cat, it, it's it's important to have that before you go get an animal and, and the willingness to take care of it. Right. It, it's unfair to the animals to, uh, I don't know, to get an animal just be, you know, quote for the kids or just because you you need a companion or, right. you know. I, there are people who, who really are true dog lovers and cat lovers and um, probably have been cat lovers or dog lovers most of their lives and are, you know, can prepare to, they know what to do. They can take care of an animal. But most people, you're just getting it out of the blue. Bad idea. Yeah, and that's so, so I think uh, that uh, maybe we can draw some conclusions here that because uh, celebrating Act Two is about doing new things in the second half of your life. Yeah. Uh, it, unless you want to have a new career, which we, we suggest a lot of people just go for it. As a veterinarian, uh, you probably don't want to, if, <laughs> if, if you haven't had animals all your life and uh, you're willing to put up with taking care of them yeah. and paying. Uh, sometimes exorbitant bills. Uh, 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 I know that uh, my uh, 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 son's dog had cataract surgery about four oh, or five wow. years ago. Wasn't cheap. Okay? Yeah. Oh but no. I mean, but I mean, it's exactly what the dog needed. He, uh, yeah. he was going blind, and he gets around, and and you got to uh, be willing to do that. Right. And yeah. I, I suspect that at some time uh, uh, he'll pass. And I wouldn't be surprised if they got another one because they had the dog before they had the kids. And uh, yeah. the, kid, the kids are wonderful, but, you know, they, they like animals. And uh, well, so I, I mean, suspect that, that'll be part I of their to, life. I hate to be negative, but that's another topic for an animal is when they are really sick and they pass. <coughs> Excuse that's me. Um, hmm. You've got you've to take care of them. You've got to go take them to the vet and have them euthanized. And right. 
Believe me, vets are not cheap. But I think more importantly, um, we should mention the fact that one of our regular contributors is Sarah Surratt from mm. Get, Get Positive, Positive. Yeah. Animal Training. And she's done a whole series of videos for us. And I know they're up on our YouTube site. Um, I, one, one series is about eight or 10 videos of helping you pick the perfect pet. Right, and even and among, through, among uh, cats or dogs, certain breeds, depending upon yes. your physical condition and, yeah. and things like that. She also talks about, uh, um, you know, lizards and things like that, lizards and snakes, and because there's a whole category of uh, different pets you can get. Right. So it, that would be a, a good uh, video series to watch if you're actually considering a pet. Well, I admire you, John. You've got... Go to the only thing is that we talk, talked about this offline. That uh, the only thing that you don't have right now, currently, that I think is sort of missing, because you have an arbor and you have a pear tree around Christmas time, you should have a partridge to 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 live in that pear tree. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I guess the the the, the uh, bottom line for all this is that uh, everybody's different. You have pets. You got tons of uh, pets, which is really great. And every time I visit you and I see them, I get a kick out of seeing them, but it's nice, you know, it's like grandchildren. You get to visit them, you get to pet them, give them a hug maybe, and then go yeah. home and leave yeah. them. So you, you you're into pets, to I'm into part, yeah. I'm, I'm into, I'm more than satisfied having a partner. I don't have to take them to the doctor. I, you know, he takes care of himself. Thank you, John. Uh, I don't have to walk him. I don't have to use a little plastic bag. Well, you know, I guess I would help you if you need it. <laughs> walking in the street. So uh, I like partners uh, uh, that uh, like you, and I don't need a pet. And well, we, uh, we're, we're happy to... without a pet. And we're, the pet will probably be happier without us because after a while, if you don't really enjoy taking care of them, then uh, they're probably not wow. going to be as in, as in a happy place and that's, as they should be. that's always a shame. Yeah, neglected pets are, are just a crying shame. So we wish everybody um, companionship. Mm -hmm. um, we want you to choose wisely if you're going to get a pet and uh, find out first, I think, if a pet is right for you. That's, that's the important thing. Great. How much room do you have? How much time do you have? What are you willing to do? And um, maybe I see a bulldog in your future, Art. Maybe. That, that could happen. You never but, know. Uh, but uh, uh, I know that there... You can. There's a sports book in probably in your local casino. That way, I don't think you should put any money on that. Okay. <laughs> okay. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.